honestly, I'm grateful because mm. I will say that that put a fire up under my ass mm-hmm. because I'm competitive. And I'm mm. like, man, these niggas not rapping on shit. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. Everybody Podcast, episode one, goddamn 90, man. It's a woman's history month. Just found out, you know saying, a couple minutes ago. So we started off with a woman. <laughs> we got a uh, man, rapper. Uh, we just found out she's a lover of music, everything. You know what I'm saying? This is our first podcast. She a workout warrior. You know what I'm saying? From the east side. She a psychic reader. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got rapper Big Maddie, Alana Medicine. Hello. I'm what's, so happy to be here. What's going on? You all right? I'm great. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah. I made her miss church, y'all. It's, and I know it's going to oh, be... Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday, but we quit on Sunday. She still <laughs> she still watched a little bit before she got here. You know what I'm saying? So she still got her little Lord in and whatever. God, pray over the music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise, pray, praise the Lord, man. Praise him, praise him. <laughs> but how you feel? Everything good with you? Yes, I'm great. I'm so happy to be here to talk about some music, some for of sure. my influences. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But we, before we start everything off, we do a salute me while I'm here. We wait, a lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers. You know what I'm saying? Make that long Instagram or, or uh, Facebook post about, yeah, I love Craig and stuff like that. But you ain't telling why he was right there. But it can't be the easy answer. If you're in a relationship, it can't be your parents. None of that. It got to be somebody. So, got somebody hmm. you want to shoot some love to? Hmm. Yes, this is going to sound... Well, I don't think it's going to sound weird. Yeah. But remember how y'all said I was a music lover? Mm-hmm. Music has saved my life, specifically rock. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Chris Motionless from Motionless <laughs> and White because <laughs> Motionless he White. make music for that sure. speaks to my soul. For sure, for sure, for sure. And what's his name again? Chris Motionless. Okay, okay. How you get how you get how you get hip to the whole different music, rock and goth and all that stuff and alternative music? Like how you get hip to that? Because usually when you think about the black, you know, what I'm saying black people, we always rap R and B. Like we never venture off to nothing else. Right. That's very true. So. My dad was a DJ before he passed. I used to go everywhere with him. He would DJ all different types of events, not just black events, mm-hmm. white events, Latin events, all different types of stuff. And he was a little here and mm-hmm. he just loved music and it just stuck with me. Yeah. So now I'm an adult and I just love some rock and roll. For yeah, real. for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do people be looking like, huh, what? Like, yeah. uh, have you ever get somebody to cross over and be like, all right, I see why you rock with it. Yeah, 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 I have. They be like, dang, I kind of, I feel that feeling. I'm like, yeah, I know the feel. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now, before we get into everything else, man, when I was doing my research trying to find stuff out about you, I seen you was doing your psych reading stuff with your, uh, what's the card it's called? Tarot cards. Yeah, how did you get into that? Okay, so that's also that's also a really good question. Yeah. So, when he died, when my dad died, he died in 2019, mm. 2020, I had had like a whole just spiritual awakening, just like, well, what am I doing with my life? I could for be sure. doing this, I could be doing that. One day, I just went to a metaphysical shop and picked up some cards, mm. and I read my best friend, and it was to the T. It was some stuff that I she never even heard, stuff that she never told me. I said, yeah. dang, yeah. I kept reading people. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I got a little a little gift. Yeah. That's how we got here. That, that's something you still do? Yep. Okay, okay. So have you ever had... Leaving, you know. Mm-hmm. Those who know, know. I read the right group of people, you okay. know what I'm saying? And when you read your girl to a T... Mm-hmm. If you don't mind, you know what I'm saying, putting out what you had read, like, what was it that she was like, damn, girl, you got me. It was just some real, <laughs> real, real personal stuff, okay, like okay, some okay. stuff that she, that had happened to her when she was young, young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not nothing that was like, I guess, public. Mm-hmm. She's okay. like, oh my God, how did you find that out? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> read these cards. Yeah, now I see you was doing that on, on IG a lot. What? Mm-hmm. Why you stop? School. Okay. School, okay. yeah. So you had to take a break from it, chill? Yeah. Mm-hmm. School was uh, running me rampant, as mm-hmm. well as, you know, I was just starting to get into music, for real, starting to mm-hmm. write a lot, and I mm-hmm. was trying to see where that would take me. Yeah. And here I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the best podcast, your first no, podcast. No, you know I'm on when, the best one. Oh, yeah. Now, when you go to the other ones, you're like, damn, I remember Sha shit was way better, right? <laughs> That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, stay, staying on that, do you believe, like, Zodiac signs and, and uh, the perfect match when it comes to dating and stuff like that? I believe in zodiac signs to an extent. I think that there's some truth in every like zodiac sign, every belief period. I mm-hmm. actually think that is some truth, but not to the point where I'm, oh, you're an Aquarius. I don't want to be your friend. Like, no, yeah, that's yeah, not. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a cancer. Smoke. Hell no. You're too sensitive. Right. Like, what is that? What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't believe in that whole matchmaking with love and this, that, and third? Like, 
oh yeah, I don't think we going our, our I, stuff don't line right. I do think that it's some placements that work better than others, but I don't mm. think that it's like an end all be all. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Now from the short conversation we had off mic, you know what I'm saying, when we was li- listening to the uh, washing the washing machine <laughs> going off. <laughs> like when when did you realize it's okay to be different? Cause we Ooh, t- we, t- we was talking about the music, yes. sight reading and stuff like that. When did you realize like you know what it ain't it ain't shameful to be different from others? Oh my gosh, you are not lying. This is such a great this is such a great question. I'm so glad you asked me because growing up black and liking like rock and metal, mm-hmm. you often get bullied, called white, you mm-hmm. know, white white. All different types of stuff. We're people that started rock. For sure. Hell yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. a little, you know, confusing. But I learned that, like, in middle school, I just, I don't know, I just, just unapologetic. Mm-hmm. I was just unapologetic. I just didn't care. Yeah. And now as I got older and older, I went through a phase of wanting to be normal. Oh, I wanted, yeah, to be, sure. wanted to be a normie in high school, but then I was so unhappy and the disguise yeah. just started to melt off my face. And mm-hmm. I'm like, be who you are. Yeah, it's yeah. It's your yeah. life. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because my dad was like, he was like kind of like you know up on different music and stuff like that. He was mm-hmm. he listen to rock, reggae, different things and stuff. He matter of fact, he barely listened to rap. The yeah. only rapper he listened to was Tupac, and that's how I became a Tupac fan. But other than that, it was old school. It was, it was different stuff. Paul McCartney, Sting, Rolling Stones, mm-hmm. Bob Marley. Like it was a whole bunch of it was a variety of music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm okay. Lying. I, I I get when you say like you know saying you loving this and stuff because people be like nigga you like that no literally <laughs> be like nigga you ain't listening to this rap yeah because one day I was <laughs> I was bumping the internet you heard that group yes yeah it was Sid and John, like oh, is it Sid Her, I believe least, yeah I was like what the fuck is this the internet hard bro like the internet is hard <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was on my little different shit too man. <laughs> So I was in my little vibe. Oh yeah, that that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That that when I listen to that music, it just paint a picture. Like I mm-hmm. so exactly. What, what's that song or album that paint a picture for you that you like? For me, every I, time you hear it, you think about this situation or this, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. It's the album by She Wants Revenge. It's titled She Wants Revenge by She Wants Revenge. Mm. And it makes you feel like you're like, let's say like Dracula's Castle. <laughs> Boom. It's bats. It's yeah. cobwebs, yeah. and you just you just dancing. <laughs> you may have a little drink in you, for sure. maybe a little smoke. You know, maybe you feeling good, right? Yeah. You just dancing, and you just feeling the energy, and you, it just it just sounds like you're like in med- medieval dark times, for Victorian. Sure. Hell yeah! Can you make love to that type of music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dance in like? Just... <laughs> yes. That's a different type of. That's drill music for real. How <laughs> would even... That's emo. That's golf music, y'all. That's not girl music. <laughs> I was saying, no, I'm talking about with that music. It's not you gonna get the drilling. <laughs> So you got a drill session with that little music, dog. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put on some. Uh, what's that group? She uh, she, she won't revenge. Uh, uh, like, don't be going back to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. That's funny. Now talk about last year. You know, what I'm saying it's still early in the 2024. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying what what was life like for you last year, 2023? Uh-huh. Personally, and you know, what I'm saying with your with your music and stuff. So personally, life was very interesting. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot about myself. It was honestly a pretty rough year. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a lot of us can relate. Like 2023 was a mm-hmm. interesting year to say the least. Yeah. I started to go back to school. I go to school for um, cybersecurity. I code. Okay. So I started to do that. Mm-hmm. It's been killing me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the good thing is the high year I was working towards all years, I dropped my first project. I have been writing music since 2020. Mm-hmm. So I had a whole like, I don't know. I had so many different directions I could have went. I'm like, I can sing, I can rap, I could do this. But I'm yeah. like, okay, well, I'm angry right now, so I want to rap. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, want to yeah. rap. I started rapping. <clears throat> I dropped Don't Forget to Take Your Medicine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I loved it. Yeah, you it dropped that way. That was uh, March? November. November, November Like at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was right after your birthday, right? Because mm-hmm. you 10 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, okay. I, was okay. To, I peed the music and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first track, 10 mm-hmm. Going 10-10. crazy. Yeah. It's a nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you feel like, you know what I'm saying? So last year, you, you had some little rough patches and stuff, mm-hmm. but you feel like towards the end with releasing that album, it kind of made everything, you know what I'm saying? It made everything, everything make up. sense. Yeah, it made yeah. everything make sense, definitely. And mm-hmm. I was working on that for so long, and I was so hard on myself mm-hmm. about how I wanted, especially because it's your first project. How do you want to introduce yourself? For sure. Hell yeah. So, yeah. During that time, was that time you wanted to give up on the cybersecurity with school oh, yeah. or the music <laughs> and shit? Like, what I'm stopped be, you from doing that? From I'm giving be up? real with y'all. I want to give up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting right now. Man, I'm fighting right now. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. You know, I come from a family that really values education. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly, like, the only creative in my family. Like, my brother is going to school for his PhD. Mm -hmm. My mom, she's doing her thing. Like, my family is really, really educated. Mm -hmm. So... It got instilled in me so young, like, girl, at least get your associates. For sure. Girl, at least just do a little, just a little something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the older I get and the more I grow into I am as a woman, I'm like, I'm so creative. Mm. I don't need a degree to rap. I don't For need sure. a degree to sing. Yeah. So, yeah. But is it scary trying to, like, not please the fam? 
It can be. they want you to be this type of way and this, you know, same type of person. Yes, especially as black people. Mm -hmm. You know, especially as a black woman in America. My mom's like, you need a degree because you're black. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I mean, (laughs) she's like, you know. Like, okay, I got you. You need something to fall back on. I'm like, this is what I'm falling back on. No, for sure. (laughs) Now, Maya's the music. What made you jump into the whole cybersecurity thing? Um, Okay, so you're talking to medicine. You met medicine. Mm -hmm. Alana... It's a very different person. She's right. a separate person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's she? Alana <laughs> is an introvert. She's quiet. She likes yeah. to read. She likes horror. She likes all things spooky, all things dark. Maddie yeah. is very outgoing in your face, mm-hmm. screaming. So Alana likes to not be seen. And mm-hmm. when you cold, you can sit in a dark room yeah, yeah, and just... Yeah. And you get paid some good money. For sure. Hell Y'all yeah. was looking for a profession. Y'all get paid some good money. <laughs> no, I know. My little cousin was talking about going into that. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, mm-hmm. hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to the... Uh, People want to make some good money when they get out of school. Hello? <laughs> hey, you know, now, what about this year? What you carry over this year that you want to maybe change Ooh. about yourself or things you want to accomplish? This year, I'm taking myself so serious. This year, mm-hmm. I have been standing on business since January 1st, 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been uh, taking my music a bit more serious. Just mm-hmm. I just want to just start dropping more consistently and just being seen more consistently. For sure. No, for sure. So that's something that I've been working on this year, as well as just really focused on myself. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like last year... I was around a lot of people, and that's okay sometimes, but this year, I've been really honing in on me, yeah. and I feel like I'm getting older, too. I feel my brain maturing. Just like, yeah. other yeah. things don't bother me no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, when she say older, she's 23. <laughs> I'm turning 23 this year. Oh, turning 23. Oh, yeah. I'm 22 today. God damn. Man, I wish I could be 22 again. Ah! No, I, I don't know, because I was childish. And just, I wasn't as mature as you. Oh. 22, I was just like thinking about, like, yeah, girls, club. I was you know, I, I didn't care about working and that shit. I was just trying to focus on having fun. Yeah. That's it, dog. So kids don't uh, have fun. Just have fun, but work hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to give last year a movie title, what would it be? Uh, crazy creativity. <laughs> crazy. I was gonna say batshit crazy creativity. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yes. Different from uh, medicine. Mm-hmm. So just is talk about Alana, like you you say you like introvert being to yourself, like yeah. When I'm, times get hard for you, you know, what I'm saying who can Alana talk to, you know, what I'm saying to get you back right and back, you know, what I'm saying the right headspace. I talk to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I talk to God. I do a lot of journaling, and then mm. I lock myself in a room and I create. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. That you say that because a lot of I had a lot of of the past my past few guests say something about journaling. Journaling. Yeah. How do that help you? Like you know, what I'm saying just. It helps put your thoughts on paper. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like making music in a way, but it's not rhyming. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Do you go back and reflect on that? Like, damn. No, I was... actually, you know, actually, no. No. I'm the type to, I don't allow myself to read it back because I write such crazy stuff. Yeah, so that's the stuff you need to just release right there. Mm-hmm. Give, give us your last crazy, I ain't going to say crazy, but your last <laughs> entry that was interesting that you can remember. Well, I was... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was writing about some stuff in regards to like my personal life and just romance and just like, mm. ooh, yeah. these niggas ain't shit. <laughs> I need to stop. Like, I just need to just be alone, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And it led me like, I just kept writing, just writing my thoughts out. And it led me like at the end, I was just so happy. And I'm like, you know what? I mm. am love. Yeah, yeah, How can yeah. I not have love? And I'm love. Hello? Yeah. It's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, speaking of love, when's the last time you was, 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 was were matchly involved? <sighs> I've been That's single. Like a long story right <laughs> I've been single since probably like August, August of last year. Mm. Yeah. So that's why your year was kind of going a little wild for you then, huh? A little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. What, 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 what happened if your mommy being all in your business? Uh, he just ain't shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> What's up, Craig? You ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> he just ain't shit. Yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put, I ain't gonna put his stuff on blast because he has a family. Okay. Oh damn. But that's yeah, okay. right, right? Okay, right? okay, okay. One I'm plus thinking, one is two. Thinking about your daughter. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he terrible. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Was that the last thing? Was that the reason why y'all kind of broke up with the family? Well, it had a it has something to do with it. I'm okay. not gonna act like it didn't, but he was just a liar. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. He was a bum. Yeah, damn. <laughs> damn, Craig. <laughs> he was a bum. And also, I don't know, you see I do a lot. You know, I got a business, sure. uh-huh. I, I rap, I do all of this stuff, and he just wasn't doing a lot. He yeah, wasn't yeah, able yeah. to give me what I wanted to be honest. So For sure, for sure. You gotta match that energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both gotta be on the same playing field. Mm-hmm. If one nigga off one person on, it ain't, it ain't gonna ever be right. Right. If, or if you ain't pushing each other, that ain't you know what I'm saying? You're not lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what do it take for somebody to get your attention? Hello. Because, <laughs> you know, this is for the love of, for Sha too, at the same time. We, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? People be watching and be like, hey, who's that? 
they need to come correct. <laughs> That's how you need is. to come correct. As soon as I'm sexualized, it's done. Yeah. As soon as you say something like immature, mm-hmm. it's done. Like it's so easy to filter out like men who actually want to date and are looking for, sure. for marriage and looking for something like genuine mm-hmm. and men who just want to fuck. To yeah, be honest, it's a lot of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those. Good, a lot of those. Good morning pictures and shit like uh-uh. that. <laughs> like damn, baby, you looking good now. <laughs> With, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm quite sure you just started music. You Because 2020 is still new. Yeah, fairly. And you just put your first project out. Mm-hmm. Have you had somebody reach out to you trying to work, but really trying to get on? Define get on. Like just trying to use music to talk to you and think that that can be a way to get closer oh to you. Oh my God, yes. That's what, <laughs> yes, that's yeah. what, ha- yes, that's what happened with my, um, my past lover. Mm-hmm. And um, I learned a lot, you yeah, know? We, yeah. we learned. But I, honestly, I'm grateful because mm-hmm. I will say that that put a fire up under my ass because mm-hmm. I'm competitive. And I'm mm-hmm. like, man, these niggas not rapping on shit. I'm gonna, be, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. It's a lot of great rappers in the city. It's a lot yeah. of great male rappers in the city, but mm-hmm. men can get away with saying nothing. Yeah, Women, <laughs> we have to do more to get into the door for sure and it's like sure. damn niggas is not rapping on shit like hell dang. yeah hell yeah it's like it's a lot of trash niggas on here. it's like <laughs> you know it's a lot of trash rap out here for it's, real yeah trash rap period you're not lying yeah you're yeah yeah, lying. yeah but so what are you going to do to separate yourself from that shit because like i have people come on the show and i tell this nigga a lot people come on the show and claim they rappers and singers but don't put nothing out so what you going to do you say you want to stay consistent but yes, what you going to do consistent. to kind of separate yourself from the bums that's a great question <laughs> i actually make music for a very unique group of people i mm-hmm. target a specific demographic hood black weird bitches <laughs> weird black women i am for you they forget about us they forget about the unique black girls the black girls that may have gotten bullied the black girls that was ugly in middle school yeah. now they fine now <laughs> like the black girls that was listening to nirvana and kids was calling them white nobody right. girls that didn't want to be their friends like i target a very a specific group that is often overlooked for sure and for i sure. feel like that's for gonna sure. make me really stand out and really make people bond with me and my yeah. fans like the antibiotics really mess with me <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you get that though you say like hey damn girl you look good now like i do get that it wasn't like, your team in, in, in the middle school, high school. They wasn't. i'm not gonna lie y'all i was, little, I was nerdy i was emo <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i was emo and i was nerdy i'm still emo now but like it looks i've cultivated it for yeah, my personality yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but back then like i looked a little different <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's okay we, we grow into it you grow into it you're not lying <laughs> what's some shit that you learned about yourself that maybe surprised you like damn i ain't shit or damn i'm, I'm really am this shit like what's some shit that surprised you about yourself how fast i can write music mm-hmm. um when i first started making music the people that i was around like they punch mm-hmm. and i was fascinated by that and i'm like damn mm-hmm. you just sit there and just sit, think of it and say it but yeah. i'm not gonna lie sometimes you can tell when people just yeah, 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 say yeah. it on the fly you know so sure. they're actually sitting down and really like planning a song like mm-hmm. and i'm like okay well i can't really say nothing on the fly because i want it to be something cohesive so let me go back and write mm-hmm. i can write something like this yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. dang that's a gift so not a lot of people can do that so are you trying to of course you write but are you trying to be that person that can punch you in too or are you just yes, going there, actually, be ready? but that's mm-hmm. something like you know how some people gotta practice how to write mm-hmm. i feel like i gotta practice how to like punch you know yeah. what i mean for sure for sure god damn people if y'all hear the background that's not- <laughs> <laughs> we know that but no when you do that when you write how do you how do you write? Like, I remember Ooh, I used to do, yes. like, when I used to write on paper, i do two bars. So i okay. do two bars, skip, two bars, skip, two bars, so I got 16. It looked like, it looked like paragraphs. I'm not going to lie. Because yeah. I actually, like, I used to read a lot in middle school and stuff. Mm. Used to read a lot. Used to write, like, fiction a lot. So it looks mm. like actual, like, paragraphs. I'll just write it how I hear it in my head. Yeah, 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 yeah. So sometimes it'll be like that. Other okay. times it'll be a full sentence and yeah. then two words. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. yeah. it was, like, hard for me. I used to do that like that, but it was hard for me, like, to get in the studio and record when it was, like, so bunched yeah, up. Yeah. So I had to have that space, that. like, mm-hmm. and I used to cut off stuff on bars and then I even write parentheses what to say. Same. Yeah. I, parenthes- I put a lot of parentheses. I highlight stuff. Exactly. I circle stuff. Cross stuff out. Man, yeah. I miss rapping. Yo, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna Go do a ahead. song. I'm gonna do, do one song. song. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, uh, young Shot coming back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, speaking of, on the whole little um, what you discover about yourself and stuff like that, what's something that you still need to work on personally and musically to be better? Well, personally, I say just working on me just going outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me going outside a little bit more. Um, Last year, one of my biggest flaws was just staying in the house. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, wow, the music's good. I'm not ugly. Mm-hmm. Um, it will, I just need to get it in front of the right people. <laughs> For sure. And it will, you know, it will be good. Yeah. And, but Alana likes to, I don't know, Alana is a little mm-hmm. hermit. Alana yeah, likes sure. to mind her business. Detroit yeah. is, can be a lot. Yeah. Especially when you're born and raised, it can For be sure. a lot. Yeah, on that good Issa. Man, like, it can be a lot. So you really want to stay in the house most of the time. But this year I have to go outside and in terms of music I want to start just creating more with other people Mm -hmm. and actually just I don't know 
I want to start directing my own music videos. I have so many. I have yeah. so many plans. Y'all better stay tuned. For sure. You got any, you got anybody in mind that you want to work with? Like any creators out there that you want to work with that you might you know saying want to shoot your shot with now? Hmm. I want bands. I want. I want to. Yeah. I want to collab with the rock stars. I want to collab with Pierce the Veil. I want. Oh, I want Mona Leo. You know that girl? Get off that Don Julio. Act a Fulio. Her music yeah. is real good. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Say I do, but <laughs> <laughs> I like Mona Leo. I like yeah. Flo Millie. For sure, I, for sure. Yes. Hey, now listen to your music. And my past guests, I believe, like you and what's name would probably do a good song together. This girl named um Kayla Wan. Oh, I've heard of her. Yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah. Of her. I can see y'all like messing t together, whatever, dog. Like that'd be a dope little collaboration. So yeah, I've heard of her. I gotta check out her music. Like you're not the first person that said that to me. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. she dope. She came on the show early on and stuff like that. She dope. Mm, she dope. Okay, I think cool. I think she can, you know, what I'm saying do something. I like your music because you know, what I'm saying I like your flow and everything like that. So Thank you. I feel like y'all are jail together on the song. Let's make it happen. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, yeah. you hear him? <laughs> For sure. Do you have a team around you? Because you, you tell me trying to do all this stuff. Do you have somebody behind you that can, you know, saying help with this stuff, or is it just you? Um, it's just me. Mm -hmm. But I do a lot of stuff. Don't yeah. underestimate Big Maddie. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a that's a good thing, but I do also feel that you probably should have like you know, just, little people uh, yeah. uh, along the way. Yeah. Um, because of course it gotta be people that you trust. Mm -hmm. It can't be any anybody who won't, you know what I'm saying, use you and shit like that. Right. And that's why I'm in that phase of just doing it by myself because mm -hmm. a lot of people just I don't know. I don't trust a lot of people in terms of my music. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke, y'all. Inside joke. <laughs> What's your day-to-day -day life away from music? Oh, great. Okay, so I work a full-time job, so mm -hmm. I'm at work for 12 hours a day. Damn. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then I go to the gym in the morning. I'm at work for 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Probably get off work, write some music, or do some homework. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Now, the gym life. Oh yes. Some people be fake gym people. They just like to post pictures. They ain't really working out. But That's you, true. you, you, you be posting pictures. I'm but you, be, you be working out. Yeah. So let's talk about how hard it was, like, because it's hard to even walk into that door. That's so true. How hard is it to stay consistent in the That's gym? That's true. I'm not gonna lie. For me, I just woke up one day and I'm like, I don't like this. I want to change it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so many things that are in our hands, and I feel like a lot of the times we overthink it and mm -hmm. we over be like, Oh my god, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Girl, just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, like, for girl, sure. just go. Yeah. But I also think that um, I use that as a coping mechanism. Like when mm -hmm. my dad died, I gained a bunch of weight, and I've mm -hmm. always been like tall and like lanky, mm -hmm. but I gained weight, weight. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, I gotta get this weight off of me. I should just go, and then I just got addicted. I don't mm -hmm. know. Gym rats understand. You just literally yeah. become addicted. When now it's just in your everyday life. Yeah, you're thinking about everything. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the gym, mm -hmm. that's that, that's an easy spot to find some love at, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for lust. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true, true, true. I got to get back to the gym, man. I've been, I fell nice. off. I fell off. I fell off for real, for real. Now, give me some worst advice, best advi advice you received. Oh, my gosh. The worst advice I ever got was to give up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yes. I had some haters in my ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about give up. Mm -hmm. um, the best advice I ever received is to do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Not what makes everybody else happy. Not what everybody else is going to do. Do mm -hmm. what's going to make you happy at the yeah, end of the day. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, I want to touch back on, you, you say, that, um, the passing of your, your pops. Mm -hmm. uh, without music, without working out, without God and stuff like that, where would... What would life be with, you know what I'm saying, without those things, with dealing with a loss of a parent? I don't know. See, my mom is incarcerated as well. So that was the only parent that I really had. Mm -hmm. And um, what would life be like? I don't know. I feel like I would be bored. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like I would be so depressed. I honestly don't think I would be here yeah, to damn. have this interview with you. Yeah. I would be so, I don't know, creating is everything. Like, music is my oxygen. Yeah. You gotta make something. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. from, like, talk to you for a short bit, bit of time, I feel like those things is kind of, like, helping you along the way. Mm -hmm. And without that, it would be kind of, like, stagnant for you and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's true. You know, because my, uh, my, both my parents passed away, so it's like, you need those things just to keep your head right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So you ain't yeah. constantly thinking about, damn, like, my mom gone, my dad Dang, gone. I don't got nobody to call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, you gotta have stuff, you gotta be able to deal with it without hiding it through, all right, I'm gonna go hoop, or I'm gonna do this. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta be able to deal with it because a lot of people be too scared to deal with things because they feel like life is gonna end for them if they just stop and just deal with the whole pressure of my parents is gone. Yeah. Or my life ain't right, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we got yeah, yeah, man, just a little wisdom and stuff. <laughs> You're not lying. You're not lying though. You speaking facts. You speaking yeah. straight facts. Cause I like my, I feel like my brother. He was like trying to 
hide the pain by just constantly doing stuff. I'm like, dog, you need to sit the fuck down. No, literally. Sometimes you just need to sit down and cry. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it be like that. I still find myself crying from day to day. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, you know, you just be like, oh my God. Yeah. And then you be all right. <laughs> yeah. Now, when the last time you cried and what was the reason that didn't have nothing to do with death? When was the last death? time I cried? No um, death. Give me a reason why you cried. Um, I actually cried happy tears last okay. night because I am performing. And, yeah. you know, I used to pray about it and pray mm -hmm. for even just to have opportunities like this. Yeah. And, it's just, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's moving. I'm yeah. proud of myself. For, it's sure. for sure. No, no, no. Good, good. Congrats to you. And I could see, I told my producer, I'm like, yeah, I think this is going to be an exciting interview because I could feel her happiness through the DM. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah, because like I said, whenever I see Sound Off Sunday, I ain't got a lot of people from there. Mm -hmm. And I just go through it. Like, All right, who good, who good? You not, you not, you not. <laughs> oh, damn, she's straight. <laughs> and then once I had... Hit you up, got the music, and listen to the music. Oh, damn, she can rap. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, me have her on. Because I don't like just invite people on without listening to the music. Yeah, or without the music true. being good. That's true. You don't know. You never know what you're going to get. You got to know what you're going to get. Uh huh. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Shout out to uh, Sound Off Sundays. You going to go back and do something? Of course so. Of course so. I loved it. I loved it so much. I had so much fun. And I'm so grateful mm -hmm. for the opportunity they gave me. For sure, Such for sure. a nice platform. Hell yeah. Let me know next time you go out coming on there. Oh, yeah. Say less. <laughs> Hell yeah. First adult decision. First thing that you did to really make you feel like, damn, I'm grown out here. Oh, my God. What was the first thing I did? Oh, the first time I had to get my car fixed. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's what shit you don't want man oh my gosh yeah. i was like dang so i gotta pay for it yeah, yeah. <laughs> like nobody else responsible for me no, no more? at all Hell, it's all about you and shit you know literally so that, was that, that was that decision that you made and you did and you feel like i'm grown out here like no for real it ain't no... i feel like car troubles like once you once you take care of your car for real mm -hmm. paying i was paying rent too i'm paying rent yeah. oh my god i'm like damn i'm grown no that should be hard <laughs> Hell yeah. especially being so young you know it just happened you know yeah. i feel like y'all can relate if y'all look back you just wake up one day one day you was a teenager now yeah you know. yeah because like when you when you're a kid it's like it, it's slow 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 mm -hmm. slow then once you get to like, like that freshman high school, it's like, all right, this shit kind of going fast a little bit. Yeah. It's like you going to that roller coaster, like, damn, it's, you scared on the way up. Then you just drop it down once you turn like 25, like, damn, this shit going fast. Like, <laughs> like hold on, hold on. Like, yeah, hold on. That's why, I, like, if you got some shit that you want to do, you just got to do it. Even do. now at you 37, do. like. You just got to jump off that cliff. Yeah, you just got to do whatever you want to do. Like, it took me a while to start this podcast because I'm, I'm waiting on people. I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it by myself. Just do it, yeah. Yeah, and through that, I ain't met some dope people like like yourself and stuff like that. So it's it's cool. It's cool. Something that you wanted to be that you never a lawyer. Felt like I could give a mean argument. I watched yeah. Law and Order SVU. <laughs> <laughs> you would probably do better than Young Thug lawyer right now. Uh uh. They over here fucking up. <laughs> Lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So that's something that was like that's something you wanted to be for a long period of time and just went away or just a short time you was thinking about that? Um, I feel like that's something I wanted to be for a long time, but mm -hmm. then I, I'm like, mm, how bad do I want to be a lawyer? Really? Like, I yeah. don't know. It kind of just fade away. It did just fade mm -hmm. away naturally. Yeah. Now, is there anything else that you want to start after this music thing? Like yeah, actually, I'm working on a makeup business. Ooh, ooh, okay, ooh. okay, okay. Trying to do some makeup, do some other stuff. One thing about me, I like money mm -hmm. in all ways. Mm hmm all shapes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, man, I can, if I can learn how to do makeup on somebody else's face, I can get yeah. some. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, I ain't nothing wrong with as me and you side can. hustles. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. If you had to tell somebody about yourself using a song or an album, what song is going to be? Or album is going to be? I... As like, soon as I hear that song, this is Lana. Mm, I would say... Collide with the Sky, the mm. album by Pierce the Veil. Okay. And the song that I will specifically say is Bulls in the Bronx. Mm. It's, it's fast, it's a nice breakdown, mm. and it's a little flirty. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. like yeah, it. For sure, for sure. Now, the reason why I asked you to give me an album that you... And turn it into a story. Okay. You feel me? So off that She Wants Revenge by She Wants Revenge. <laughs> I got a couple of things and stuff. And um, I'm going to go with uh, Disconnect. Okay. When the first time you felt like disconnected from life, dif disconnected from a person, and, you know what I'm saying, disconnected from yourself, mm. and how did you feel? I encountered those feelings early on because mm. my mom um, has been gone since I was five, and I was mm. raised by my grandma, and she did the best she could, but, you know, mm. 
older. Mm. So um, I just always felt like the eyeball out because mm. I felt like I was supposed to be like my siblings. And yeah. I'm the only one that can rap. I'm the only one that can write a song. I'm the only mm. one that had creative abilities. They didn't have that type of stuff. Mm. It was housewives for teachers. For yeah. housewives, teachers, for that sure. type of thing. Yeah. It made me feel so disconnected from reality. And mm. then I found the connection again in um, metal, mm. rock. Now with your, your mom being gone, and I heard you, you know, saying reference your mom on, on a song or whatever. Like, like, how is that relationship? Even though she in jail, like, or locked up, is like, do you have that relationship? That um, she does the best that she can. Mm -hmm. She's uh, she's a writer as well, mm -hmm. so she has the articles in Time Magazine, Boston Globe. Oh, wow. She's doing yeah. a lot of stuff. Like, she's doing a lot of stuff from jail. Yeah. That's why I say it's no excuse. No, it's no excuse for <laughs> real. No Damn, excuse. that's that's dope as hell. Yeah, hell yeah. Boss mama, but yeah, yeah, we do talk. We do talk. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting relationship because yeah. you know she hasn't been there for so long. So that was just like mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, without having your mom there. Do you feel like she was if she was around like things would be a little easier for you? Oh hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah! Oh yeah. my god, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, let's know that she's still doing her thing now. I won't be in business. The last thing I asked, like, is it will she be home anytime soon? She should be within like the next seven years. So, okay, yeah, that's be. dope. Hell yeah, that's track number three. I don't want to fall in love. Was there ever a time that you was like trying to hold yourself? <laughs> I'm falling for somebody like, damn, I don't want to like this person. Oh my god, y'all, oh. that's me. Oh my god, y'all, that's me right now. <laughs> oh shit, hell no. Oh my god, y'all, that's me right now. Cause Big Maddie when okay. <laughs> Big Maddie Big Maddie is focused on music and things that can push her further. Yeah. But I you know you mean like some nice people along the way. Some yeah. kind, genuine people. For sure, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So hey, it's so real. Demarcus. She don't want to fall for you, but she got <laughs> Hell no, hell no. Out of control. That's track number four. Oh, that's a good song. Was there ever a time that like just you was out of control? Like you, you, you didn't have nothing right. You couldn't uh -huh. get things under control. Yes, actually, when my dad first died, I didn't know mm. what I was doing. I was supposed to be going to school for like to be a doctor. I didn't even want to be a doctor. I didn't even know what I was doing. I just wanted to be rich, and yeah. I, like the only way I knew to get rich mm -hmm. was to be a doctor, which was so ignorant. But sure. I mean, yeah. yeah, and I was out of control. Yeah. I was out of control. Yeah, just... what were some things that you was doing that was un you know saying wasn't you know saying like you? Drinking. Okay. I do not drink anymore, not for real. And if I'm drunk, I'm like out. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know. I was drinking. I was partying a lot, mm -hmm. and I was just staying in the house. And I'm usually a social butterfly amongst my friends, but I was just not. Mm -hmm. It was not doing good. It was awful. And I was so young too. I was like, oh my gosh. When I think back on it, I'm like, damn. I was like 18, 19, yeah. trapped in the house, drunk. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, trapped in the house. Someone must get hurt. Yeah. When the last time it was a situation where you or that person got hurt. Um, lately I've been choosing me a lot and I mm -hmm. feel like because I've been such a kind person throughout my life and like a bubbly person, people mm -hmm. aren't expecting me to be so stern mm -hmm. as of lately. Yeah. And somebody got hurt and it ain't going, yeah. <laughs> somebody got hurt. Like, I don't know. Boundaries are needed mm -hmm. to be honest. Hell yeah. Now I'm going to do one more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to go with broken promises for broken hearts. Mm. When the last time you had a broken promise and a broken heart? Um, deep, I'm deep. These deep shot. Right these here. are deep. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Last time my heart was broken was around last year, mm -hmm. and it was a by it was by a, um, a fuck nigga, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And now I can look back and be like, "Girl, ugh! <laughs> like, ugh! like what was going on?" But then I don't know. I felt like my world was crumbling because yeah. I don't really have like family support. So when yeah. I meet people and meet friends, like I really mm -hmm. be like, "Okay, we, that's us." You yeah, know, for we, sure. we hell good. Yeah, hell yeah, you fall hard because because yeah. you missing that support. You know, what I'm saying family wise. Yeah, so I fall a little harder than usual, and I'm mm -hmm. like, "Ooh, yeah." It, it stumped me for a little bit, but then as soon as I realized that he was a list of things. If you know, you know the list. <laughs> he was yeah, a list of things. Yeah. I was good. Yeah, yeah. All right. I will say I was gonna leave off that, but you spoke on like not having that family, like you know, saying how you want mm -hmm. and trek. Like talk about your your, your siblings and the, oh, that relationship you got with them. Shout out to my little sister Summer. Okay. I love Summer. <laughs> I love What's summer. Up, summer. We love you. I love summer. I have a big brother, Antonio. He mm. is great. I love tea and I love summer. I love my siblings. Those all, that's all I got. I yeah. love my siblings. Yeah. Now, uh, talk about growing up. You from the east side? Yep. Shout out to the east and stuff. You mentioned being raised up. You know, saying by your grandma. Mm -hmm. Was it grandma and granddad or just grandma? Just granny. All right, talk about Real that. Ball. So I am from East Seven Mile, Seven okay. Mile Van Dyke. Oh yeah. And uh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still... It was. It was rough. I'm not going to lie. It was rough. Like, yeah. my grandma, she didn't have the money to take care. She took care of me and my sister and my brother. Mm -hmm. And we were poor. Yeah, so give me that uh, that broke story that stand out. Like, 
Nigga, we broke his foot right now. <laughs> oh Damn. my fucking god, bro. When I was eating hot dogs for breakfast, no. <laughs> cut up hot dogs with ketchup for breakfast. And then, okay, I used to go, y'all know, if y'all from Detroit, the DPS schools, we wear uniforms. I used yeah. to go to Debsa. Yeah. And at Debsa, we had to wear like this. Uh, if you see Debsa uniform, you know, like the yeah. uh, the French, you know, the French. For sure, what for is sure. it called? Yeah. I know you're talking the about the button shit. down, yeah. and all that shit. I only had one shirt, y'all. No, I shit y'all not. I only had one shirt, and I what? used to be washing it in every the sink. fucking day. Damn. Oh no, that sink. Oh shit. Yeah. Every day with hand soap, y'all. <laughs> with hand soap, fucked up in the crib. <laughs> I go, I go to school. They like somebody musty. Oh <laughs> shit. You stand there with your arms down. Yeah, now your whole day ruined. <laughs> yeah. I, and, they, and they don't stop saying, you know, kids mean as hell. They yeah. don't stop. Damn. So you had that one boy, huh? That one, because that's that little piece of the yes. old dress piece, right? Yes. Yeah, damn. So you, you <laughs> and I know, I know that you had some days you forgot, like, damn, I got to put this bitch back on. <laughs> <laughs> then you got to earn it and you really smell this. Man, like, oh my God. No, for sure. I know about that because back, we didn't wear uniforms often, mm -hmm. but when we did, like, we had like little uh, like times in school, they'd be like, all right, we wear uniforms for three months or some shit. Wow, and that's mama, interesting. My mama gave me a shirt and the pants. Like, it was two of them. That's it. That's so it. So you wear it. Where next one wash like you had to keep rotating. You had to keep up. rotating. I'm like, dang. Damn, I ain't heard no good washing the sink story in a minute. Man, washing it in the sink, the armpit part, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Hold on. Now you probably had to do that shit as soon as you get in school, cause I'm quite sure you don't have no dryer. Oh my gosh, no, we hang it up. We had hung yeah, it up on yeah, the line. Yeah, in the yeah. basement. Hell hung yeah. it up on the line. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> but you appreciate that shit and you can laugh. I do at it. I can look back and laugh now because my grandma made it happen. I don't know what the hell that old lady was doing. Yeah. But she made it happen. Yeah. She had a family to, you know, feed. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker, you be And she smoked. <laughs> she smoked. So the clothes will always smell like smoke, no yeah. matter what. Cigarette or weed. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Hell no. Hell no. no, shout out to the uh goddamn um the, the real ones who, who survived that shit, man. No, for real. Because I remember having, like, a, like when we moved to a new crib, they didn't have a refrigerator. So we had to get ice every day and fill in the cooler. Oh, my just so God. the milk won't spoil and shit like that. So you be getting those days, like, when you when you going through it, it's like, all right, whatever. This is this is everyday shit. Mm -hmm. But when you look back at it, like, damn. Damn, like, that was fucked up. I was in the, I was fucked up. Hell, yeah. <laughs> do you, now, do you eat hot dogs now? I do. I don't care. Okay. Well, I'm about to say, cause usually I don't you, care. When you yeah. eat that shit so much when you're young, you don't fuck with when that's you get older. That's how I feel about spaghetti. I can't eat spaghetti now. Oh, shit. That's my shit. Spaghetti... They didn't, niggas have done, have ran spaghetti into the ground. Black <laughs> people have ran spaghetti into the ground. I'm tired of spaghetti. Duh. Yeah. So, I tear up a hot dog though, a burnt one too. Yeah, no, it gotta be burnt. Mm -hmm. Ain't no boiled hot dogs around here. I ain't fucking no boiled. <laughs> give me that motherfucker. Give me that, that, that burnt uh, gliz. <laughs> <laughs> the glizzy guy. Yeah. Hey, that's fucked up. That they, they make it so niggas can't eat hot dogs in peace, bro. <laughs> like, niggas taking pictures of you with, like, fuck, bro. <laughs> Little nigga on my team, he, he got my hot dog. In between the games, he had to go hot eat his hot dog. That's why he want to take a picture of this nigga dog. Wow! I'm like damn, nigga eat a hot dog in a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga sneaking with the gliz. That's not funny, dog. And but now besides all that, you know, what I'm saying growing up poor, washing stuff and junk in the sinks. <laughs> How else was it for you? Like, was it you know, what I'm saying like? Well, it was fun with my daddy. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun with my daddy. Yeah. He gave me the best childhood he could. Okay. So I really enjoyed being around music. I was around a lot of music. My aunts. On my dad's side, they hustled a lot. They danced mm -hmm. a lot. It was always just music, yeah. music, music, music. Even my grandma, Motown. Mm -hmm. I could sing Temptations with my eyes closed. For I could sure. probably sing it backwards. Yeah. 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 Now, was your dad, was was he, I know he was DJ, but mm -hmm. did he get into being an artist? No, he didn't. He just DJed on the side. He had mm -hmm. a landscaping uh, gig. So mm -hmm. all he did was landscape DJ. Mm -hmm. like, and he from so the east side too? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Hell yeah. Now, did, so he don't, he don't know that you did music then. No. How do you think he'll feel about you being this, this, this rap artist? I I think he would be proud. Yeah, for sure. Cause we like, you know, I grew up listening to stuff I shouldn't have listened to, like Trina, yeah. like you know, little Kim, stuff yeah. that little girls really shouldn't have been listening to. Yeah, for sure. And I don't know, I grew up really liking that raunchy, like ghetto rap. I'm be oh, that yeah. raunchy ghetto, oh, yeah. down to earth, you know, yeah. like getting it. I think he would like the way I present myself. For some for some reason, when you say that that ghetto uh, ratchet rap, the first person or the first song I think about is a crime mob, a knuck if you book. Look, yeah. like, that, like that, was, that, 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 what happened to that group? Like, damn. What? Yeah, I think somebody. I don't know. I just saw an announcement about Diamond from Crime Out, but I can't remember. I think she got married or some shit. Oh, okay, to some, yeah. yeah. But then it was like, yeah, she got married, but she was just crying over Scrappy the day before or some Ooh. shit. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but that, that's the one I think about. For some reason, I think about that because they had that one song. What? Stiletto pumps in the club. Stiletto yeah. pump. Hell yeah! I don't know why I know about that shit. That shit's getting hype a little bit though. <laughs> It was hype. Oh, shit, Crime Mob. That's why my music taste was trash. Cause I was listening to CDs like Crime Mob. 
<laughs> I was it was a, just black. It's yeah, okay. It's just yeah. cultural. <laughs> For sure. That's why I said the early two thousand. The early two thousands music was kind of like it was. It was. It was different. It was different. Like I said, it was going through that that, that whole well, let's go from this nineties rap to this new age rap and shit. So it was like niggas was trying anything and niggas was selling records. They was. I was listening to a lot of Usher because my brother loved Usher. Yeah, I forgot. Loved Usher. Usher. The millennials. Yeah. Oh my god. Hell yeah, I forgot Usher. Even though I don't know about this new news that I'm hearing about. Yeah, I don't know about all of that. <laughs> about, but about Usher. Diddy here. Diddy messing around with Usher and Meek Mill, like. Oh, that shit ain't true, though. It's crazy. Yeah, but you don't know what these you don't know what these people got going on. They, That's these, true. You know what I'm saying? These rich motherfuckers, they be doing wild shit, you know what I'm saying? You never know. So shout out to Puff Day, man. I don't think you're going to get out of this shit alive. <laughs> like, for real. You are Kelly going down on it. <laughs> damn. <laughs> two, two iconic heroes. It's just, damn. Double homicide. Hell yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. Now, um, you, 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 you go into Cornerstone, stuff mm-hmm. like that for school and stuff like that. Like, did you go right to college or did you just chill? Like, No, I went right to college because that was the only way I was going to get out the house, to okay. be honest. I went right to college. I went to U of M Dearborn for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, took a gap year, started my business. Mm-hmm. I don't know. College has been a very like intriguing journey for me because mm-hmm. I go when I am ready. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, you like, head out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not one of the people that's going to really sit there and like straight shot it all the way through. I'll be like, okay, well, I went for like a semester or two. I kind of want to take a gap year, go do this. Okay, I come back. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I want to take a break. You know, like, I don't yeah. know. Take for my sure. time through it because I'm so creative and because like my heart lies with the music. Mm-hmm. I'm not so pressed to hurry up and you know yeah, 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 get yeah. it going for sure, for sure, for sure. Now, the music. When did music just come in? It's like, all right, this is this is shit. I'm sticking with this music. I love music, like because it's still early on. Do you love music or are you still no. finding your love for music? I love music. Okay. I love I'm music. talking about being a rapper, rap no. artist. Yeah, I okay. love I love being an artist. I love being a rapper. Yeah. I love creating music. I mm-hmm. love I don't know. It's such I have I make music for such a deep, deep, deep meaning than just to make the music. So. Yeah. So talk about that it. first time, like really like creating a song. Oh my gosh! I remember I had went to the studio with some uh, old friends or whatever, mm-hmm. and I got asked to put. Well, he had asked me to go on like his track, and honestly, thinking back, like the rap that I said, like was so basic to me because now yeah. I say a lot of crazy shit now. So you what, know what I said was what, just. What not... was the first two lines from it? Um, how remember. it go? I can't even remember. Yeah. I honestly can't even remember because <laughs> it wasn't nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my... I remember. It just was so mediocre. But now mm-hmm. now I'm sitting here thinking like, damn, that was so mediocre. But nevertheless, I had went in there. Mm-hmm. I was so nervous. I remember I was so nervous. My voice was shaking. And I was like doing my own like effects and people was laughing at me. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, oh my God, like, why are you doing that? And like, you know, you know, we can edit that. I'm like, I don't know. We can, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know we can do that. Like I'm rapping, like rapping, rapping, like, <laughs> like that first song. Oh, echo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that first song always a motherfucker when you trying to find out because you don't know about the studio. You just know about you in your room rapping. No, literally. You yeah. don't know how this works. I yeah. didn't know how it worked. So niggas talking about some, do you want to go over and, and stacking? And I'm like, what the fuck no. are you talking Maybe about? Maybe you should punch that. I'm like, what would that mean? I'm yeah, like, like, I didn't know what the fuck. I don't know. I didn't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. At what point did you get comfortable? Like, it, like how long when did it I, take you to get comfortable with me? When whatever. I realized that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I realized that it was good, mm-hmm. I grew more and more confidence. Mm-hmm. When people, a lot of people, I got a lot of love. People was like, oh my God, this is so good. Oh my God, this is really good. And yeah. It just slowly grew my confidence more and more. Did it take I time to it. find your sound? Because you said at first you were just rapping, rapping. Like, yeah, it, it did take me time to find my niche and not be afraid to sound like animated and sound mm-hmm. a little like different, sound yeah. crazy and yeah. find my own pocket, you know? For sure. Cause I saw a video you had posted on uh, Instagram and you like, you know, punching in and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You got a unique voice, but it's dope. Thank it's you. It's dope, it's dope, it's dope, it's dope. I ain't saying that cause you're right next to me, but you know what I'm saying? I appreciate <laughs> that. I always want the honesty, y'all. <laughs> for sure. First song you recorded. Yeah. What was that? Ariel. Okay. I remember it bar for bar, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. Ariel. Um, I was so nervous, and you can hear it in the track. Like, you can hear it. I'm so nervous. I didn't know how I wanted to present myself. Mm-hmm. But to this day, like, so many people love that song. Mm-hmm. Like, I got, like, a couple friends that be like, girl, I was bumping. I was bumping Ariel on the way to the airport, Morgan. I was bumping yeah. Ariel on the way to the airport. I was doing this. I was doing that. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that fucking song. <laughs> like, Man. Now, who the hell is Ocean? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. When yeah. I first started making music, I used to go by um Ocean. Uh-huh. But then I... It came to me during meditation that I'm medicine, mm-hmm. but I used to go by Ocean and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Ocean wasn't wasn't doing it for you at the time. It wasn't. I didn't like. It didn't fit who I am. Uh-huh. Like it just wasn't my name to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now meditation. Mm-hmm. I had somebody who um, shout out to uh, Fire Ass Vegan. Oh my god, I 
know her. I yeah. love her. I love Deja. <laughs> yeah, that's Deja. That's the homie, man. Yeah, Deja that's is the homie. Hell yeah, shout out to hey, the, the one fucking uh, Fresh uh, Roots. The people yeah. at Fresh Roots were the, some of the first people that actually believed in me. So oh, I, yeah. Oh shit, hell it's yeah. Sweet as Fatima and them like Fatima. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. them, man. And them air roll. I mean, the uh, air rolls. Oh, oh hell yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Deja. I'm on the way, baby. <laughs> we, man, we went and got some of that shit, boy. We, <laughs> I ain't even really have time to even get home and record the little reaction to it for real, for real. <laughs> Dang, what... little lady, you sure can't no, put it away. That was good. How, how did I even, I forgot how I even connected with Deja, what made me connect to it, connect, you know what I'm saying, with it or mm-hmm. whatever. I just ran across her junk. Like, damn, that'd be dope to have somebody, you know what I'm saying, from from the from the food scene come on. Oh, yeah, that is dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deja, we still waiting on that uh, miss tape. <laughs> <laughs> he said she was doing music and man. Heard. Shout out to Fatima and shit. But yeah, yeah. So meditation, like we was talking to her about, like how do you do it? And she was saying it's not a specific way to do it. That's true. Meditation can be doing this podcast. She said coaching or whatever. So what is meditation for you? For me, mm-hmm. mm, I sit in a room and I turn on my frequencies and I tr- I do the traditional meditation of actually like sitting there and just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I also meditate when I work out. Mm-hmm. I also meditate when I write music. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. So can you get yourself like take yourself? You bam, you doing it right? Can mm-hmm. you you can take your place to a take yourself to a place that you want to go or just you doing it and you just you know what I'm saying I do it for the like the wellness of my brain cause mm-hmm. I overthink a lot and I also have bad anxiety so yeah. I meditate to ease my anxiety and let the thoughts just kind of like roll through it's mm-hmm. like watching cars pass it helps a lot yeah, yeah, it helps a lot sure. hell yeah hell yeah I got I always wanted to get into it but I just never knew how to do it but when she explained yeah. it to me it's like this could be your meditation because you're Literally, not thinking anything about that nothing you're else. not thinking. That's what I'm saying. Any, that, anytime when you're not thinking about anything else and you just letting your brain just roll, mm-hmm. you meditate it, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the, to the meditation people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fire ass vegan too. I got to come get some more food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like we said, in November, you dropped um, your EP, first EP, Don't mm-hmm. Forget Your Medicine. Uh, talk about that. You said you've been writing this for a couple of years before you had actually released it. Yeah, so, I have been writing for some years. So. Yeah. Talk about the like the confidence to finally put it out because it's your first project, it's your first piece, mm-hmm. and this is what people are gonna know you as. No, so. yeah. When I first started creating, I was a model on the mm. underground scene, so mm. I met a lot of people via that. Like I'd be like, okay, like I'm modeling, I'm doing this. I'm mm. um, learning real quick that I'm not a model, I'm a rapper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had a lot of connections, and you know, my friend Ryla. Mm. She took my pictures. I remember just like, you know, the like the cover, the cover. She took the pictures of the cover. And I'm like, mm. I remember like, okay, if these come out well, it's really going to bring the idea to life of okay. what I want this to be like dark, a little bloody, a little scary, a little mm. like cute. Like I, it'll bring it to life. Um, I would say though, like with most of those songs, like I wrote them out of pure like experiences. I remember the day I wrote Bad Habit. If mm. I hear Bad Habit to this day, I can still hear how angry I was yeah. in the booth that day. Why you was know? you mad? I was mad. Mm, I was mad. If you listen to the lyrics of the song. Yeah. Oh, I was to him. Oh, yeah. I was mad over a nigga. Yeah, yeah. I could tell. I was mad. Yeah. Many don't like to get played with. So, yeah. <laughs> I remember, and I'm not the type of person to, like, really be, like, covering, like, oh, you ain't shit, da, da, da. I'll just go make a song and leave you alone, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, so. yeah. No, no, you were mad, because like, I want to talk about the bars later on after this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like... Oh, that, Lord, I was waiting for this day. Yeah. I'm like, they go ask me about this in my interview. Oh, that? yeah, yeah. You know, and then, see, this is why I'm, I'm glad I could be that person. This is your first interview. So when you blow up, you go, you got to come back first. Oh, though. no, I'm coming back. Yeah. I'm coming back. But you I'm going to be like, y'all. you know what I'm saying, my first podcast was, was shy, and that nigga was amazing. Yes. That <laughs> nigga was amazing. He had a ball. <laughs> for sure. We, we listened to the washing machine go crazy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga, <laughs> that nigga granddad wanted to wash clothes in our interview. Oh, <laughs> 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 no. The AT&T was full of shit. <laughs> Man, do you feel like this project got the love it deserved or is it still growing because it's still so new? I think that it's still kind of growing, but I also think that it did get what it deserved because mm-hmm. now I'm, I don't know, I'm growing. I feel like I'm growing at such a rapid rate with my music. So I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, that was good, but this is better. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. was good, but this is way better, you know? For sure, for sure, so. for sure. And where people shot like, huh, you dropped the project? Yeah, people Lying are shocked. What the fuck going Especially because it's so vulgar. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I don't, you know, I'm not singing like J Lo type of stuff. It's yeah. not like Mariah the Scientist. Like I'm mm. getting on there and saying some crazy shit, and I'm just leaving it alone. For and sure. people know me to be very sweet and very kind and very bubbly, and that's not that's not like that's not who I am. But that also is who I am too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it was definitely interesting. I got a lot of like feedback. Mm-hmm. So if I see you run to you and you like, I got this project. What's the first song you gonna play for me from that project to make me a fan? From that specific project, I would play Cleo Denial. And a lot of people, Cleo Denial didn't get as much love as it should have, mm-hmm. in my opinion, because Cleo Denial is a long song. But I forget, you know, people don't like long songs no more. The age of TikTok, the age of just everything being so fast. Mm-hmm. I forget, like, to me, 
the tra- the test of a true rapper is how long can you rap and how is your, what is your wordplay how mm. fast you can rap I don't know I grew up listening to a lot of Eminem yeah. and a lot of just like you know how fast can you spit it yeah. and I'm just doing that people are like yeah this is good but I'm kind of bored now because this song is like over three minutes long yeah, yeah, I think yeah, the song yeah. is like four minutes maybe up under a little sure. under three yeah, 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 but yeah. I love the hook yeah. I still love that hook to this day mm-hmm. yeah yeah now talk about the bars um, on that Cleo, Cleo on denial? denial you had uh, Denial mm-hmm you had some. I feel like you was going at somebody specific when you said, "I don't beef with niggas that work at plants. You ain't shit, but a worker be." Like, you talking about like the beef you had? Like, who you got problem with at the plant? Oh my god, man! I, like, I, I had a best friend, right? Okay. I had a best friend. Yeah, I knew it had been him. Somebody. Had been best friends since we were children. Okay. Come to find out, he had been plotting on me the whole time. Yeah. It really hurt my heart because we were friends, mm-hmm. and you know. I wouldn't have done that to him. Yeah. And then he had started this whole thing, like amongst our, our group of people mm-hmm. or whatever. And he had spread around, was like, oh, Lana this, Lana that, like, da, 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 I'm beefing with her. And I'm like, nigga, you work. It's nothing. <laughs> let me say this, y'all. It's nothing wrong with work at a plant. It's nothing wrong with that at all. But I feel like people always need to be doing more. Mm-hmm. You should always be working towards your goals. Like, For if sure. you just go to work, like, why? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, no, why facts. are you not doing more stuff? Mm. I remember I got so mad. Yeah, I don't be for niggas that work at plants. She ain't shit but a little worker bee. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, she must have got. Uh, I'm like, she has somebody she was mad at with that shit, though, for real. Because ain't yeah. you ain't gonna put that bar in there for no reason. <laughs> no, that is true. Yeah, it is true. It's about a nigga from the plant shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you just dropped a uh, song, I believe, a week ago. Yes. One, one, one direction. One direction. Yeah, you got a uh, part in there. You said you've been making music longer than me, but that don't mean you better, ho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's better. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about mm-hmm. you want you know. Y- Talk about that shit. Like, how confident is yeah. as far as, like, you being a new artist, but you still fucking over these niggas that have been doing hell, music? Hell yeah, you've been making music longer. That don't mean it's better, though. Like, yeah. hello. Yeah. I feel like, like I said, men get away with saying a lot of mediocre shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't say mediocrity. They'll just be like, oh, here go another bitch. Just to <laughs> shake her ass. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> One Direction was real personal for me mm. because I had went to perform somewhere and they told me I couldn't perform mm-hmm. because essentially I was a girl mm-hmm. and it hurt my heart so bad. It was like mm-hmm. the first time I experienced like discrimination based on my gender. Yeah, yeah, for I was sure. like, what? Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, well, it's be-. my best friend was like, well, you know, you're not light skin, you're not like ice spice, Milano, yeah, yeah, Milano yeah. light skin and stuff like that. And you know how it is in the industry. So I was like, yeah. 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 What was well, the platform that turned you away? <laughs> <laughs> It was a play. It was a. Sorry, I, went, name if you want to. I went out of town. Let's okay, just okay, say okay, that. okay. I was out of town. Okay. I was hoping it wasn't in the city. Shit. Nowhere like, in our city, nah. Yeah. But I went out of town, and those who know know. But yeah. yeah, and it just really upset me. I remember I was so mad. I'm like, y'all niggas in boy bands music still can't go in one direction. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. How the sure. fuck you in a boy band and you not even Harry? <laughs> yeah. You not even. You not even gonna be Harry. You like Niall or something. You not the lead. Like, for sure. how the fuck you in a Jackson Five and you not Michael? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga Tito's out here. This shit, man. Uh, like no, fuck beef. it. He worse than that. Nigga. You, you, you ran the just, <laughs> <laughs> just trying to beef. Yeah. You're not even Latoya, not Janet, nothing. Like, duh, that's funny. Now on ten ten, oh, mm-hmm. uh, you said I'm a little crazy. It's okay. On you like six, I'm a little crazy. It's okay. Mm-hmm. What's so crazy about you? You crazy in a relationship? Not really. But a little bit. <laughs> he said not really, but a little bit, huh? <laughs> not really. <laughs> Not really. Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. But when I say crazy, I mean just like the things. I don't know. When you a metalhead mm-hmm. and you like metal and rock, like I feel like they deem us as crazy and they deem mm-hmm. us as like insane in the membrane. Yeah. And maybe we can be a little bit insane in the membrane, but at the same time, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it's the stuff that I say mm-hmm. and the stuff that I read and like how I present myself in my music. Like mm-hmm. I heard people like, oh my God, why would you say that? Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fuck it. I'm saying it. I'm creating shit. I don't know. Oh, but I also think oh, that it's bad. like a, de- oh, you're fine. Yeah. No, I think that it's like a Detroit thing too. Mm-hmm. Cause it's a mix of me, like the influence from rock and the influence of my city. Mm-hmm. Then it's like in Detroit, we say, nigga, y'all mm-hmm. heard Rihanna get on the track. Niggas for say sure. anything they want to say. Hell yeah, like, no, for sure. Now you, 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 you spoke on rock and stuff, but mm-hmm. who influenced you rap wise? Trina. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. I like Trina. Yeah. I like, um, Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. A lot. I like. I'm, I like Megan a lot. Actually, I really look up to Megan. Mm-hmm. I like Cardi. Who else do I like? Yeah, I fuck Cardi. Like... Ain't gonna lie. That's the one. That's yeah. the one industry uh, uh, female that I I turned the album like. Dog, this shit kind of hard. No, I, I, no. Man, yeah, that was hard. Like Cardi be going crazy. Like I ain't the biggest Nicki Minaj fan, but but Cardi, yeah, Cardi be going crazy. Yeah. Cardi be going crazy. Nicki is definitely talented. I like Glorilla. I really yeah. am a fan of... Uh, I love- I'm a fan of all the rap girlies, but if I, I have... I love Glorilla. Yeah, Glow. 
my son was like, call me, cause that bitch was going crazy. You go really do go crazy though. Duh, Cupid's on it was it <laughs> Cupid's on Cubans. Duh, go go really be going crazy, duh. I was that bitch, like, and that beat was hard. And it remind me of Three Six Mafia. It do. It's that yeah. that Memphis rap. Yeah. They they get down down there. Yeah. I'm like, I like I, it. I, I, all the ladies in the scene right now. I think Glorilla probably my favorite uh, female rapper, dog. It's cause, mm. I guess it's her voice or something, dog. It's just something about it, dog. Yeah, Glorilla so, is taking a cake. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. And then she got some new breasts. You could tell, like, she upgraded herself. Like, her nose def- different. Like, damn, girl. He was, okay, girl. Yeah, you, like, you got some money. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Get my I really together. like, I don't know. I really like Mona Leo because she say really, like, wordplay stuff. Like, I remember mm. in uh, the cypher that she did with Lotto, she mm. said, bitch, I'm going bar for bar. Bitch, that mean I'm bar hopping. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> like, she say stuff that make you be like, I like that. Like, yeah. I like wordplay. For sure, for sure. It's fun. Now, on 1010, you also said they would love and support you when it's too late. Mm-hmm. Talk about that. Like, do, are you... Remembering like, all right, you, you ain't fuck with me, you ain't fuck with me, don't fuck oh, yeah. with me when you I know got what a saying? list. Oh, you got a list for real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a list. Yeah. I got a list just because you know people like to play in your face. I don't know. You reposting Drake shit, and Drake ain't never gonna see your, your repost. <laughs> no, at all. Drake ain't never gonna see your repost, but you can't repost your friend yeah. stuff. You ain't never say happy birthday to your... Drake and shit. Man, you you and you and Meek Mill comments like that's your friend for yeah, real. For sure, hell like, duh, duh, that's funny. But as hell. you can't say nothing to your friend, you know. Yeah, it's weird, yeah. a little I mean, odd, but it's okay. At the end of the day, I just say because I be on that say shit, I be crying to this nigga dog. But at the end of the day. Those those aren't the people that's gonna put you over. I believe that's you know true, what I'm saying. No. It's gonna be motherfucking strangers that's gonna get you to that next level. But you also do remember those ones because whenever I get somebody that's on the show that's a known artist or a known person, everybody want to share, everybody want to comment, everybody want to like. Mm-hmm. But if somebody that they, they don't know, you get like a couple of them. You see, mm-hmm. like do you do you doing your thing, child? Like nigga, I'm on 190 episodes, nigga. Of course. <laughs> Hello, like, hey, really? hey, I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now you want to show me love because I got this person on there. That's that's some bullshit. But mm-hmm. it's all good. Shout out to y'all, motherfuckers, man. Yeah. <laughs> now um, on Cleo Denial you said uh, I need to get more credit I'm in school and a bad bitch hello <laughs> like, yes I like, need to get more credit yeah. shout out to the black woman in school it's hard yeah. okay especially in like white dominated spaces yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. even be just the only black woman you be the only black person yeah for sure so, hell yeah yeah now when you had touched on your mom and stuff like that and her incarceration um, that same song you say every bitch that hate on me remind me of my mom Mm-hmm. that's so sad talk about that like was that just something it's definitely we have a very interesting relationship mm-hmm. just because like she's been gone for so long so she feels like that she can do certain things and say certain things and act a certain way and it's mm-hmm. gonna get tolerated and yeah. it's not yeah. simple enough yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure hell yeah hell yeah, yeah. bad habit oh my god if that's your nigga habit. why the fuck he always with me mm-hmm. you had those situations where you 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 know what I'm saying you know my man's got a chick but y'all... Well, I, don't, I don't really on uh my new song Jolene, mm. I was saying that we don't beef about niggas. Yeah. We all here soon, but we don't beef about niggas. I don't like to go back and forth about niggas. So as mm-hmm. soon as somebody call my phone about a nigga, I'll mm. beef about some money, maybe some music if yeah. you're pretty, but yeah. not about no nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell no. Had yeah. to get that off my chest. I think that same day I had got like a phone call from that girl, or she had sent me a mess. some some bullshit, some yeah. Detroit shit, <laughs> like. <laughs> Bullshit. On Beetlejuice, you said I took a little break, but I came back brand, brand new. new. How important is it to sometimes re- reset, go back, and just get things right and shit? Just to, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's very important, and when you're doing everything like I am, like I feel like I do so much that mm. it's in- critical that I like rest, or my mm. music is just gonna be half ass, and people can tell. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah, and I'm bad happy. Say a lot, of pe- a lot of y'all don't know this side of me. Mm-hmm. Did, did they discover like a new person when they listen to this, this, this project? Yeah, a lot of people met Medicine. People don't. People know Alana. People met Medi though, mm-hmm. and I feel like a lot of people fuck with her. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, not on Cleo. Now you say every night I used to sit and cry. Yes. Was you crying because you had to watch the outfit all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I was crying because of dad. I was crying because we was broke. I was crying because yeah. my mama wasn't there. I was crying for yeah. a plethora of reasons, man. Mm-hmm. It was a lot going on. Yeah. And nobody was really there. Yeah. So but not, that music. So as you get older now, do you feel like it's... Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself to be a better person to or to make sure you're not in those situations you was as, as a kid? Yes, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I work extremely hard. Mm-hmm. I feel like I am like 30 steps ahead of the average 22-year-old. Mm-hmm. So I work hard. When I say I work hard, I mean I work hard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you don't, you don't, you don't feel like there, it's too much pressure sometimes? It can, it can mess you up? Yeah, it is too much pressure sometimes, but I don't know. I hold myself to such a high standard. Mm-hmm. And it's like, girl, if you want to be Beyonce, you got to be able to handle little mm-hmm. stuff and, For you sure. know, 
Hell light yeah. pressure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, talk about the next project. I know this project is still new, mm-hmm. but are you thinking about the next project and how you want oh, it to yes. look? Oh, yes. The next project will be coming out April 5th. Oh, see, uh, you, get, you get the announcement. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you get the announcement. Oh, yeah. We coming out shit. April 5th. It's called 200 milligrams. 200 milligrams. Back appeal. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, I'm very, 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 very excited. Okay, okay, okay. And then, how's it going to be? It's going to be short EP? No, oh, it's going to be long. Well, a little longer than before. It's going to be eight songs, probably some bonus songs as well. Okay, okay. I got a lot of shit in the vault that I'm ready to just. Yeah. <laughs> like, just go ahead, y'all have it. Any features? Um, yes, I have a feature with my friend Woma, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna have a feature with my cousin LD, mm-hmm. and that's about it. Okay, okay. Now, what what's your plan like to, as far as like getting the music out, promoting it as much as you can? You mm-hmm. say you by yourself. Like, what what are you trying to do to make sure this next project get out to the people? Get the hell outside. Mm-hmm. Get outside. and Want to start content creating on TikTok more? Y'all follow my Instagram. Follow my TikTok. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit more social media presence because that can really mm-hmm. take you. No, for there. sure. And I think that's the mistake a lot of artists make is they don't they're not out there enough because with the yeah, whole it, true. Instagram algorithm, if you're not posting, mm-hmm. once you do post, you're gonna be at the bottom. So yeah, niggas ain't true. gonna really see your shit like that. Mm-hmm. So I, that's my advice. I just hey post as much as you can something. Shit, every yeah. day. If it's I don't give a fuck what it is, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. What do what do you want this like? Do you want to promote it as far as like going to other podcasts, other platforms? Have you been reaching out? Yes, I've been on a hunt. I've just been looking around at other podcasts and platforms that mm-hmm. I would like to do. I was looking at Auntie's House, rapping there, maybe mm-hmm. just a lot of stuff like that. Like yeah. just trying to mingle more. For sure, for sure. <laughs> now I feel I like I always throw a little bone out there to my dogs, the uh, the connected experience. Mm-hmm. They got podcasts and stuff that you can. I believe you should go on. Okay. They, they they reach out to and they like to have new artists all the time. And it's twins. For the most part, their their stuff is audio. Mm-hmm. So it's, 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 uh, some of it be video, but for the most part, it's audio. Okay, you so, said bone to my dogs. Uh, no, I was throwing bone out there too. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was be like, that's, the, that's the name of the podcast, y'all. <laughs> Like, no, okay. their podcast is uh, the Connected Experience. Okay, cool. S J A J. Check it out. Yeah. She'll go home, look up bones. Bone to my, my dog. <laughs> like, what is going on? Hey, that gotta be the name of your next track now. Nah. No, for real. Bone to my dog. Man, right? my track's anything. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I got a track on my next project called Crash Bandicoot. I know y'all yeah. old enough to know the game. For sure, hell yeah, <laughs> hell, yeah. hell yeah, that was the shit. That was In the one shit. direction, I got some Tekken bars. So yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah. So, do you plan on putting a project, like multiple projects, out a year, or just focus on this and then? It's right before the summertime. You got mm-hmm. time to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I plan on multiple a year, but not too many. Mm-hmm. Probably like two to three a year, max, mm-hmm. yeah. really. Three max, maximum. Would, would you ever do a collaboration album? Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. I'm not mm-hmm. opposed to that. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, though. You know, it's rare that I meet people that can keep up with my style. Mm-hmm. Like, that people that want to collaborate with my style of rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people... I'm not going to say everybody sound the same, but everybody has a similar sound. Let's say that. When's that rock album coming out? Pardon? The rock album. Uh oh! <laughs> I know you gonna. Uh oh! I know you come up with something different. Yes, actually, that's gonna be that's gonna be my debut album. This is a tape. This is mm-hmm. the next tape. I feel like my debut album is gonna be like a rock. A little rack, rock. Yeah, yeah. I said rack. <laughs> Rap, rock, shit, yeah. like collaborate type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. I think it's gonna be lit. Now it's been a long time since my rapped on the show. Very, very long time. Hopefully, it go right and we <laughs> we air this part. But a lot of motherfuckers be scared to uh, to rap. Yeah, a lot of niggas mm-hmm. don't want to rap. And my thing is, like I said, I tell everybody before, you can, it could be songs that you already got in the vote. It could be whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? I just ask the person, do they want to rap? They say yes, cool. They say no, cool. But Big May say yes. <laughs> Big May, he always going to say yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lana, Lana Medicine says she want to do it. Ooh, wee. So, shout Style Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got another Shout Style Tuesday, man. Lana Medicine, Big Medi, you know what I'm saying? She about to give us some bars. <laughs> Many. Big Manny. Um, okay. Pull over, that ass is too fat. I show up half dressed and I'm in all black. When I started rapping, yeah, it was about my dad, but I learned real quick I can make some real cash. Rapping like this, yeah, it takes some patience. I only rap about real shit, I'm not faking. Whenever I hear y'all rapping so basic, damn. Do y'all like this face, man? I look half dead. Monster Hido. Niggas think we can break bread, I'm not like y'all. I gotta get from God, niggas just want fame. I don't even think y'all have felt the real pain. Mm. But it's Big Maddie Ho. I wanna do a freestyle and let y'all know I'm the baddest bitch. I like the OG Trina. Rapping bitch, not a model like Tina. Pull over, that ass is too fat. Pull over, that ass is too fat. Had a little rap. Just had a little, little rap. The ass too fat. Yeah. The ass too fat. I'm about to go and walk. <laughs> we gotta get you back in the booth. Man, one day, one day, man. I got some bars and shit, man. <laughs> no, but no, uh, 
niggas be scared, man. Yeah, niggas, yeah. niggas be scared, man. But you did it's it. It's okay to be scared, though. You gotta yeah. do things scared sometimes. But, but yeah. it's okay to be scared, but do it. My thing is when somebody asks you, you know, say, hey, just do it, man. You know what I'm saying? No, facts, though. That's yeah. facts. facts. Yeah. Now, nah, I do this thing. <laughs> this is before your time. I ain't gonna ask <laughs> <laughs> Making a band. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Diddy and stuff. But, you know, back in the day, Diddy had the band and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he formed a band with five rappers and shit like that. So if you had to make your own band, I'm going to go. You focus local rappers and local singers and shit? I don't really know too many All right, people, to be Let's honest. do industry. Okay. This is your Big Maddie album. Okay. You and four other people. It could be rappers, singers, producers, all singers, all rappers. However you want it, it's you and four other people to make this album. Who is going to be? Mm, I want Rico Nasty. Okay. I want BK the Ruler. Okay. I want mm, Vic Fuentes, the lead singer of Pierce the Veil, <laughs> <laughs> the lead band singer. I want like some band niggas. Yeah. Um, I want Mona Leo. Okay. And I want my cousin LD. LD. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you gotta mm. get the fam in there. Hell yeah. This nah, he can rap, rap his ass off. Yeah. Okay. For sure. For sure. He, he older, younger, same age. We the same age. Okay. Shout out. Uh, he from here. Yeah, he is. Okay, Eastside yeah. shit? Uh, no. Okay. No, he from the West Side, so okay. yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What's your definition of success? What do success look like for you when you think ahead, hmm. like five years from now? Um, I think of my music. You know, I call myself medicine for a reason because mm -hmm. my music is medicine. It's supposed mm -hmm. to heal black girls like me, heal people like me. So mm -hmm. my dream is five years from now, Honestly, I don't even have to be the richest. I don't got to have the most money. I don't got to have the biggest fan base. But I want that music to hit the right people. I want my music to save lives. And if sure. I know I've saved at least one life mm. from my music, mm. I'm good. Hell yeah. Hell I'm yeah. Good. That's a good answer, man. I'm See, good. that's what I'm talking about. These, these youngers be having their hair right. I would be like, you know, you know, you know, success, nigga. Let's get some bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah, they got some money and shit. Like, that's dope. Any, anything you regret with the way you started that you wish you could change as far as being an artist? I wish that I was so nervous. I had an opportunity at the beginning of my career to perform out of town, but I was just so anxious and nervous. Mm -hmm. Didn't know my sound. Just like how I just rap like that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done I probably couldn't have done that to be honest. I just wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. I wish that I would have put those, you know, fears and just did stuff scared, you know? Yeah, for sure. I always tell people just jump off that clip, do it scared. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You got any advice to someone that want to start something, but too scared or afraid of failing? Literally do it. You mm -hmm. keep thinking about it, and that's the problem. That's yeah. why you're so scared, because you keep thinking about it. You literally just got to just start doing shit. You know, like, yeah. you don't have to have a whole itemized plan. I'm an itemized plan girl, but you don't have to have a whole itemized plan. Niggas can just literally write a song, go to the studio. Yeah, that's not start. fast. Hell yeah. Have you seen the first episode of Family Guy and then the most recent episode? Yeah. <laughs> shit fucked up in comparison. Yeah, for but sure. Hell yeah. They no. started, you know? Yeah, exactly. exactly. It started. And that's why I said early on, it took me so long just to start this shit. And one day I'm like, you know, just start this shit, you whole ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you just do it, nigga. <laughs> yeah, it's like you gotta cut your own self out. Like, you a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you scary. Hell yeah. Now, I ask this question because it'd be mostly for like people that's older, but you're 22. So mm -hmm. I got this shit called young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. What's something as a young Lana, I say 16, that you don't believe in now at 22 that you look back on like I was I was fucking crazy for even thinking like that? Um, Let's see. Dang. What, what was I doing at 16? Or just your, your way of thinking. And, and, uh, My way of thinking, I was just so immature. Mm -hmm. Well, every 16-year-old is, but I was just a know-it-all. Like, mm -hmm. I was a little snob, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just like, girl, I wish that you would have listened to somebody because you would have saved a lot of fucking money. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. A lot of money. Oh, yeah. Were well, you into sports as a youngin? Mm -mm, no. Oh, you ain't hooping that like that? No. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. I okay. debated. I yeah. was like a nerd. I was a nerd. For sure. Student <laughs> council, debate. Yeah. Stuff like that. Hell, yeah. When I with the music... And just yourself, how you want to be remembered? Like, when it's all said and done, like, oh, I want this. I want to be remembered as medicine. Mm -hmm. Literal medicine. That's why I'm medicine. I want to be remembered sure. as literal, literal medicine. Mm -hmm. Like, I heard I heard this girl rap. She rapped about some real shit. I feel like that. Damn. I know. I didn't know it was other yeah. black girls like that. For Dang. sure. Hell like, yeah. Now, you touched on earlier. You say you, say you sing. Mm-hmm. How, like, how is your singing? It's great. Yeah. It's great. Like, we say great. Like, is it, like, great or is it, like... No, okay. it's great. I just keep it. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with it yeah. because, like, when I first started writing music, believe it or not, like, I was writing, like, real lovey-dovey, neo-soul, like, R&B type stuff, but it yeah. just never left the vault because yeah. I got mad one day, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I just got mad. I was like, I want to rap. I got something to prove. Yeah. So, I've been in this little phase of, like, let me just, you know, talk my shit real quick, but I do think that my singing era is coming back around because I'm... Yeah. Healing, so feeling gonna, good. <laughs> you gonna drop you a, a, a R&B album? Perhaps. I don't yeah. know. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I get bored yeah. by R&B because I like rock. I mm -hmm. like fast-paced stuff. I like 
doom, doom. Yeah. like I like fast paced <laughs> yeah, stuff. Sure. So hell yeah, now nah, I ain't gonna ask you to sing. Now nah, I wait till you come back then. Definitely. Yeah, because you got probably drink a little I'm tea. Have some ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Now towards the end, we start getting to like little funny things, whatever. Uh, I got this thing called um, um, too early, too late, or right on time. I tell you something, you tell me if you if it was too early, too late, or right on time. Okay. Uh, the first one is figuring out life. Did you figure out life too early, too late, or right on time? Right on time. Okay, right move, on time. moving out of your parents' house. Too early. Too early? Mm -hmm. How old were you? 17. Damn, you got the fuck on. Yeah, I had a situation. <laughs> I had to get the fuck on. You never came back? No. Oh, shit, shit. Mm -hmm. nah, shit. Round of applause for you and shit. They could be going back. I, I went back twice. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, sex, too early, too late, or right on time? I would say right on time. Okay, now when that happened, did you talk to somebody... Nope. Hey, dad, I did this or hell no, my daddy, <laughs> hell no, my daddy would have rigged my neck, not his neck, my neck. Yeah. But no, I didn't talk to nobody. I was talking to my homegirl, you know, my friends, but mm -hmm. like nobody had had common sense. I will yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So you say right on time. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. My, I, I, I feel like mine was was too late. Really? Because all my friends were saying they was they was getting down with the get down at fifteen. I don't know. Yeah, 16. that's true. People was getting down real young, yeah. but I didn't get down until I was like eighteen. Yeah, I mean that mud uh, playing with wrestling men and shit though. Like, <laughs> Dreaming of it, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> that first experience was I could have waited. <laughs> it was terrible. It was oh my god. It was terrible on my, on my end and hers. Yeah, I ain't gonna talk about that. Forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, first job, too early, too late, right on time. Too early. I got my first job at fourteen at Little Caesars, and I thought I was making real cheese, y'all. Them niggas were paying me seven dollars an hour. Shit, fourteen. You probably make some good cheese. Though. Man, 14, my you... little three fifty check. I'm <laughs> like, hey. Yeah, yeah. It's some grown niggas getting that shit. <laughs> Real. <laughs> out here struggling um first relationship too early too late right on time too early I should, that nigga was awful yeah. he was awful hell no well, he gonna see this and be like oh, what? Yeah, he you, you awful nigga yeah <laughs> leaving a messed up relationship was it too early too late or right on time too late i stayed around too long trying to make it better mm -hmm. what's the crazy thing you did to keep love um <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> I had made a fake page and I had DM this nigga uh -huh. as as a fake bitch yeah. to see if he was gonna cheat on me. Yeah, did, did it work? Yeah, he did cheat on me <laughs> with me with me. So mind you, y'all, we <laughs> he meet me at the restaurant. Did I get the car? I'm like, so what's up? <laughs> no, so y'all went to go meet and everything. Yes, I threw Duh. at Applebee's. I threw a Coke on him. No, <laughs> hell no, old catfish. Shit. <laughs> That's funny as hell, though. Damn. I would got I would got fucked up back in the day. See, that got you. Huh? Not now, not now. Praise the Lord. But <laughs> back, back then though, yeah, I would have been some dirt boy. She's like, oh, I would ran back. I would have ran. <laughs> uh, start music too early, too late, right on time. I feel like right on times, but some right on time, but sometimes I feel like I did it too late. But I also have faith that everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find out Santa Claus wasn't real. Too early. Too early. <laughs> Oh shit! Did you fuck up other people when you found out? No, but I was just it made immature me. I shouldn't yeah. have been that mature at fucking like nine. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hell no! All right, now I got a thing called what's worse? What's worse? Your kids catching you having sex, Ooh. or you catching your parents having sex? Ooh. What you believe is the worst situation? Uh. Your kids catching you. Yeah, hell yeah. That's awful. I don't got no kids. Praise yeah. the Lord. Do you but... see yourself being a mom? I do want kids. Yes. Mm, for yeah. sure. For sure. What's you gonna name her Ocean if you have a daughter? No, I want that yes. Elana. Okay, okay. <laughs> what about the boy? Um, uh, Michael after my dad. Okay, I'm about to say a yeah. river. My I name, like my name, supposed to be Michael. But I'm glad my mom changed it. Okay, <laughs> I like Rashad a little better. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like that too. Yeah, have what's worse, having to wear the same drawers for two days or having to wear the same socks? Drawers. I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Getting caught by your parents pleasuring yourself. Or your partner catching you pleasuring yourself. Which one works? Parents, any day. <laughs> any day. You know, some people be getting off to that. Like, yeah. doing that with their partner. Yeah. <laughs> What's worse? The relationship ending, somebody saying they're going to kill you, or saying they're going to kill themselves? <laughs> 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 I'm going to be real. I'm the type of mother to be like, I don't give a fuck. Do whatever. <laughs> whatever. If the relationship ending, you did something wrong. <laughs> you It's something going on for real. Because I'm not one to walk away from people I really, really love. For yeah, real. For sure. Now, rapper. Rapper dude. What's worse for a rapper? Mm -hmm. Them wearing fake jewelry or fake designer clothes? Fake jewelry. Okay, okay. Niggas quick to test that jewelry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's worse? Your man come extra quick. I'm talking about three pumps and gone. Or he can't get it up at all. Can't get up. Yeah. Actually, no, I lied. Three pumps gone. Because yeah, you ain't got started. You ready to be dead, huh? Just die. Yeah, just not touch me, bro. Yeah. Just not touch me, bro. <laughs> What's worse? Titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? 
titties with no nipples? It was just there, like breasts, nigga. Like damn, real, real chicken breasts out here. Oh my god. Uh, what's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? A short nigga with tall legs. Yeah, that's disproportionate. <laughs> <laughs> what's worse, no car, nice crib, but nice car, no crib. No car, nice crib. That's worse. Hell in yeah. my opinion, because damn, you don't got nowhere to sleep. You got this nice ass car. <laughs> you pull up in a Lambo, you don't got no car. Hell no yeah. house. What's worse, somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you an ending? Ooh. I, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I like to talk through movies. So, <laughs> <laughs> so telling me the ending, I like yeah. to gossip through the movie. Be like, well, what y'all think for that happen? Now, you got kids. What's worse, not having money on Christmas or not having money on their birthday? Um, hmm. Birthday. Okay. Okay. Everybody said that. I'm not one. Who thinks that? Birthday. All right. What's worse, losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? Uh, To my homegirl. For sure. For sure. Find finding out your parents aren't your real parents or find out your siblings are adopted. Parents aren't real parents, because now you just like where the hell I came from. <laughs> <laughs> like, hell yeah. Last one. Failing at something or not starting? Which one's worse? Not starting. Okay. Not starting. I've had a lot of failures. Yeah. I can play y'all a shitload of songs that are fucking awful. <laughs> but I went and, you know, yeah. made them, you know. All right, this is the last one, but this is the last one for real. You find out your mate is cheating through text or in action. Which one worse? Ooh, in action. One eight hundred choke down. <laughs> Hell no, so you fucking shit up, huh? Man. Man. That's funny as hell, dog. But no, hey, this was dope. This was totally dope. I had so much fun. This you, was fun. You gotta come back. You invited back. Usually I don't invite niggas back, but you invited back to cook out and shit, man. Because most niggas be wanna come back. Like, yeah, I'll get back with you, dog. <laughs> don't never get back with them niggas, dog. <laughs> some, some, I was talking to my own producer about this shit. This is my uncle, too, and shit, you didn't know. But media training. I feel like a lot of people who do music, who do whatever they do, mm -hmm. if it's a business and they want to promote themselves, I feel like a lot of motherfuckers need media training. But you, I feel like y'all, you got your shit together. Yeah. Some niggas be like, yeah, how are you getting the music? You know, I just like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas do just be saying anything. Yeah, I just, okay. you know, up here one day I want to stop trapping. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. want to stop selling drugs. Or yeah. what? It's a vibe. It's a vibe. You know? <laughs> like, damn, what's the vibe about? You know. You know, um, I'm a vibe. <laughs> yeah. Like, some niggas, like, do you smoke? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So some niggas come high. If you can. Do what you gotta do high cool, but some niggas come high and they can't talk. Yeah. So they be like, oh, here we go. But out of 190, I'll say probably only like 15 or 10 was like, I wasn't really fucking with it. Mm, okay. So that's that's good, not bad. Yeah, that's a good percentage. That's yeah, bad. that's a good percentage. So I, that's not bad. I try to make sure I look for the right person and shit. I could tell by your energy on stage, like, oh yeah, she be dope. Oh, God bless you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So how, how important is that, like, your stage presence? Um, I think that's very important because I feel like I did captivate the room that performance. Mm -hmm. You probably couldn't tell that I was drunk as fuck. But, <laughs> but, 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 but. Yeah. It was a great performance. It was a great performance. I remember getting up there. I'm like, ooh, I remember walking up there and I'm oh, like, oh shit, you I'm a little drunk. stumble. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend, man, she brought like a big old thing on Luna's little talking about it's your first performance. It's yeah. your first performance. Oh, so that was your first performance? Uh -huh. Your first performance, your first podcast. Yeah, big man, the first big thing. Yeah, your first podcast off that first performance. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So yeah. you say you got a couple of events. Talk about those events that you got that you about to be performing at. Yep, I will be March 18th. I will be at Mondays for women by women. It's an all women's open mic, which I'm very excited about. That's dope. I'm oh, so yeah. excited about. Y'all should pop out if y'all can't and march 22nd i'm performing at march madness yeah, 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 i'm so yeah. excited hosted yeah. by lucy oh yeah yeah lucy cavalli yeah she was yeah. on the show early on yeah she told me she was like you was really good come perform i'm like oh my god yeah. i sure will hell yeah hell yeah if you were somebody you came on the show if you didn't come on the show you ain't nobody that's what it is you know what i'm saying so he said to... it not me yeah, yeah i said it <laughs> <laughs> if now nah, i've been asking this question uh-huh and everybody has absolutely failed at this question everybody okay so I stole this shit. I, I let people know who I, where I cite my sources from. It was uh, all the smoke. They always ask this question. I wanted to start asking this question. If you could see somebody on this podcast or you want, who would you want to see on this podcast, but you had to help me get that person? My cousin. Oh, the LD? Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. He's hard. We got a, we got a hard, I'm playing for you off camera. Because yeah. we got a hard ass track together. Really okay, hard ass okay, track okay. together. Yeah, because everybody has failed this. Like, y'all, like, then people start naming people, like, it's un unreachable. Like, no, hey, no. Uh, Barack, nigga, Barack. Like, no, Barack. <laughs> like, you gonna help? Yeah, nigga, I got you, nigga, Barack. Nigga, I'm gonna DM you that gonna, nigga. You gonna, <laughs> you gonna email that nigga? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tag Barack, nigga. Like, all right, man, fuck off. But man. no, right, do you wanna leave anybody with some kind of words, some motivation, and shit, some wisdom? Keep going. Mm. Don't stop. You're not weird. You just you. Mm, for <laughs> sure. Hell yeah. But yeah. For I'm sure. excited for y'all to hear what else I have to come. I have a lot up my sleeve. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I got a bar that say, I got tricks up my sleeve that'll last me until I'm 83, and I mean that. Yeah, yeah for <laughs> sure. Hell yeah. And you yeah. said April 5th is the next project. April 5th, 200, 200 milligrams. Gram, yeah, 200 milligrams and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Eight tracks, right? You said eight? Eight tracks. Hell Maybe yeah. some extras if I'm feeling nice. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. You got the shows coming up. Look, we can't find you on social media. Lana.medicine. Mm-hmm. Medicine like the pill. Mm. Not Madison. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Madison. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. But uh, like I said, man, it was nice having you. Of course. Episode 190. Shivers, everybody, best podcast in the city. If you think different and you fucking drunk, tripping, or all of the above, we out, man. We Kilos out, we behind out. the boards. I'm focused. <laughs> <laughs>